Google just claimed you can build a functional app in minutes using their Google AI Studio Build app. It's a brand new tab they just added to AI Studio specifically for app creation. We've heard this promise before from many startups, which often come with usage limits and high subscription fees. But this is different. It's Google and it's free. So is this a revolutionary tool that lets anyone turn ideas into apps? Or it's just another AI hype? There's only one way to find out. All right, so this is the AI Studio homepage. You can access it from aistudio.google.com. AI Studio is Google's free platform where you can test and play with their latest AI models and features. What we are looking at here is the tab called Build on the left panel. Once we click it, we access the Build page. The page is quite simple. You have a chat bar at the top where you can describe your idea, add files, and choose the Gemini model you want to use. Below that, there's a grid showing different tools you can add to supercharge your apps with AI, like generating images, creating voice apps, connecting Google Search or Maps data, and even adding chatbots. So let's start testing the app creation and explore all the features available. I want to build something useful, and my idea is to create a Google Maps clone to plan a road trip. Here's the plan. I'll give AI Studio a simple prompt. Create a Google Maps clone where I can see the map and have an input chatbot box where I can chat to an AI and ask to plan my routes. My idea is to give the trip I want to do, and the app would plan the route and the stops. I'll add some AI tools, Google Maps for maps and search places, and an AI chatbot. Let's hit build and see if it works. Okay, it's building. There's a little animation, which is hiding a whole lot of code generation happening in the background. We're accelerating the video here, but it took about two minutes to complete the app. As you can see, we've got the map view on screen, the title, my trip planner, and a chat box on the right, which is my route planner assistant. The design is functional. Every element I asked for is here, but probably we can improve it later. But first, the real test. Does it actually work? I'll ask to create a trip, maybe on the Pacific Coast Highway. Let's add the request, I want to do a trip from San Francisco to Los Angeles by the historic Pacific Coast Highway. Generate the route and suggest scenic viewpoint stops along the route. After some thinking, it creates the route but did some mistakes when connecting the point on the map. It also creates a description, the mileage, and a list of scenic viewpoints along the route. I'm impressed. You can see it's not perfect, but going from a text prompt to a working app in under two minutes for free is pretty incredible. This is already a powerful tool for brainstorming and prototyping. But let's be honest, the app is very simple. So let's try to improve the app and start with a simpler request to add a clear route button. By the way, if you're finding this tutorial useful, hitting that subscribe button really helps support the channel and ensures you don't miss out on future videos. So to make the change, we need to request it. The clear route even appears here on the Code Assistant tab as a suggestion. I just click to add the prompt, add a button to the UI that clears all current route markers and the polyline from the map. It should also reset the chat history related to the route. The AI thinks again for a couple of minutes and the page refreshes. Done. Let's see if it works. I just generate a route. Now let's remove it. Okay, it worked. You can keep going and add other functionalities, tools, adjust the layout, colors, you name it, just using plain English. If you click the code button on the top, you can see all code components and even edit it if you wish. Even if you do not know how to code, one interesting thing you can check here are the system prompts your app is using, like this one. You could alter or correct this prompt to improve your app. Google also launched a feature called Annotation Mode to help you interact with the code assistant and show what you want to change. To show you how it works, it would be better to use an app that has more objects. So we'll open another app. On the left panel, we have a tab named Gallery. Here, we can find example apps that we can open, execute, check the code, and even copy to edit then. You can see we have plenty of options here. We're going to choose the PickShop app. Once we open, if we go to the right top, the first option is Copy App. The other options we have here are Download App, Save to GitHub, Deploy App, and Share App. 
we'll click the first, name our copy, and save it. Now, using our copy, we can make changes. So let's use the annotation mode. We should go to the code assistant and select the first option, and a drawn bar appears on our preview screen. Now we can draw what we want to change on the screen and add text and arrows, like this. Once we're happy, we can click Add to the Chat and execute the code assistant. Gemini models are able to understand the image, the alterations we requested, and alter the code. It takes a minute, and as you can see, it makes the alterations we asked for. Again, very intuitive and effective. Much better than spending time writing and describing in detail what you want to do. So after building and refining our app in minutes, altering another app with the new annotation feature, what's the final verdict? Is it a revolution or just another AI hype? The answer is somewhere in the middle, but it's leaning heavily towards revolutionary. First, the good. The speed and simplicity to use are its superpower. Going from a sentence to a shareable prototype in minutes smashes the entry barrier for anyone with an idea, no matter one's background and technical experience. The fact that this is a free tool from Google makes it massively accessible compared to paid startup offerings. And the integration of AI chips, like image generation, without needing to understand APIs is incredibly powerful for non-technical users. Also, if you want to go serious, you can create a Google Cloud account and deploy your app in one click to Cloud Run. However, the bad news, this is not going to build you a complex, multi-layered application, at least for now. The designs are also generic, and you don't have the full control you'd get with code or using a UI design. So who is this for? If you're a non-coder, an entrepreneur, or a creator, this is one of the most exciting tools to come out in years. It makes your ideas tangible. You can build that little utility you always wanted, or a demo to help you get funding, without paying a dime to get started. If you're a developer, this is a massive accelerator. You can use it to build out a quick front end or create internal tools at lightning speed. So to answer my initial question, Google AI Studio's build is just another AI hype? No, it's not. It's a legitimate, powerful, and free tool that delivers on its core promise. For people without coding experience, it's the most practical and accessible AI app builder I've ever used. It won't replace software developers tomorrow, but alongside other more complex platforms like Carsor, Windsurf and CloudCode represents a fundamental shift in how we create software, a collaboration between a person with an idea and an AI that can build it. It's an incredible first step. But now I want to hear from you. What do you think? Is this the future of app development? Let me know in the comments what app you would build with this. And if you found this breakdown helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest AI tools. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.